Hey guys, Vigman here and welcome back today. We're going to take a look at the castle that you all seen in the cinematics and in the building episodes and stuff like that. And today we're actually done with the castle which you might have seen in my latest videos where we have been uh, building the last parts and doing some cinematics and stuff. I just want to thank you all for amazing feedback. You guys are killing it. And today I thought that we we take this whole castle for a small tour, walk around, take a look at everything we couldn't see in the cinematic, check out all the different rooms and getting a whole like feeling of how the whole castle is. So starting off by walking over this bridge here, which is super fancy over the lake here, no the river I mean, uh, walking up towards the gatehouse. And the gatehouse here, if you're an enemy of this castle, you don't want to be here. You're pretty screwed if you close up to this, because uh, there's one main gate here. And they have arrow slits all the way around here. They have this crenellation up here. And you'll be pretty dead if you're standing here and the gate is closed on you. But if you get through the first gate, there are another gate, arrow slits in the side, murder holes in the ceiling. You're pretty dead here as well. But if you somehow manage to get through this one, you guessed it. There's a second gate and here there are even more arrow slits. Three murder holes in the ceiling, four actually. Um, and if you get through here, well, you're inside the castle. Uh, here, you're also very, very weak. We have a lot of defensive positions on this tower here. And from up here, off the gatehouse, you can shoot down. There's no way to actually get inside of the gatehouse from the outside. You have to get through into the courtyard and then you can get in. So let's start off with the gatehouse. Uh, it's been so long since I've been in the gatehouse here, so I'm not sure how everything is. Uh, we get in here. Apparently, that's a ladder. But uh, yeah, I've improved so much when it comes to interior building, wow. But it, it's okay, just some storage uh, for, you don't not really gonna be here, it's just for in case of an attack, uh, you would like to have some arrows and stuff just stored here so you can just quickly get ready to defend the gate. But that's about it for this side and the other side here we have some staircases and stuff leading up. Uh, here we have a small fireplace heating up some oil uh, and so in case someone came over here you can actually throw boiling oil or water or something like that on the people trying to get through here through the murder holes which is pretty painful uh, it's a very well known use medieval technique for killing and defensing here. Now we're going up to the first turret here of this building uh, to the second floor. Kind of the same style here, we just have a lot of storage rocks to throw down, we have arrows, spears, and kind of all just for defensive, it's not it's not the place you're really going to be if not. Here we have mechanics of rising and lowering um, the gates here, and yeah, as you can see there's just a lot of defensive storage here. You can also go down here into the turret where we have arrow slits on the side, and trying to defend from all sides here of the, um, the gate here, more arrow slits, and it's all not a very pleasant place, but it's based around defending the castle, defending the gate, because this is the only way into the castle. Around here we can also walk around, it's a little bit better here, this is kind of where the guards will be spending some time, maybe some of the, um, the higher ranked generals and stuff will be here, uh, more arrow slits in the side here, defending, and yeah, this is kind of where maybe the general will be sitting, planning, making sure everything is okay. And if there's an attack, he can go out here on this balcony right here and shout out that every guard needs to get on guard and prepare to defend the castle, which is pretty cool. And nice overview here, nice view from the balcony as well. It looks very cool with all the trees and stuff. And then, as you probably saw, there's a door here which leads out to another part here. Uh, which is just this kind of battlements on the side here on top of the blacksmith which is down below here uh, Which is all right. Uh, we have some of these cool arrow slits inside of the crenellation here So you can protect yourself even more and it looks pretty cool. I think But now let's go down again uh, Yeah, you can also go up here and then we have some more arrow slits like that very cool uh, quickly let's go down all the way down let's see if I can find my way out of here it's kind of like a maze here so you can very quickly get lost but all right blacksmith is the next um, which has a big big fireplace or a heart here in the middle you have these anvils storage a grinder to to sharpen tools and 
pretty much that's about it. Now you can also walk up here, he has some storage and up here is kind of where the blacksmith would be staying and his family and other, and other toolsmiths and workers would be staying up here. So we have, you know, just a small area to be, be hang out kind of and a small kitchen to prepare some simple food and over here we have some bedrooms with bunk beds so this is kind of where more, most of the, the the smiths and armors and stuff like that will be staying with their families and uh, yeah very cool the next building is just across here which is very fitting because we have the blacksmith and then we have the armory right here uh, they will be making armor and swords and stuff over here and it's also used for storage and it's kind of not very m much used area of this castle because uh, as I've talked about in the videos the castle is hasn't been in a war in a long time so these areas here are kind of uh, getting covered with cobwebs and stuff but it's pretty cool gives a small atmosphere here looks pretty nice I think the next building on the list is the residential area for most of um, the workers and the residential people of this castle here. So when you first go in here, we have a small fireplace and small lounge area, and then a small kitchen for the guys living here with their families and stuff. Just decent. There's no windows here because this is the back of the castle leading out towards your enemy. So you don't want windows because that's a defensive weakness. So we're gonna cover up that with this wall here. And that's pretty much it. In here we have a small pot to, to do your thing whenever you have to. Uh, which is alright, I guess. Then we can go up the staircase here into the second floor, uh, more just residential area. A uh, small balcony overlooking here, very beautiful. I'm gonna take a screenshot right here, I like that view. Um, and then kind of running around here. Also, guys, I will try to get a download able for you guys uh, probably next week so uh, you guys can see this yourself if you want to. But there's just some small bedrooms in here with. Uh, bunk beds or just sleeping you kind of don't, don't want to spend too much time in here uh, very cool very cool small rooms here and then we have a small pot here to do your thing in here you can also go out and now we're on top of uh, the armory there's also a balcony right here overlooking the area very cool and uh, this is just a few like sleeping areas here probably yeah just one bedroom in here but that's okay out here uh, you can't really get through here because um, yeah the way I built it but uh, it's a part of the battlement here so you can defend your castle from here if you want to and in case of a war all right uh, yeah that's about it for this floor we can go down here and up the staircase here in the turret here also you can see that I put arrow slits all the way along the sides here for defending up here we have just more sleeping quarters Pretty basic you've seen it all mostly um, just like that but it also leads out to a small part of the battlement a small crenellation in the back here or a machicolation because it's actually built out like that very cool and creates a very nice defensive position here for the castle and on the top I'm not, I can't quite remember what's up here uh, we see we have the arrow slits on the side here okay yeah you can't really get even further up so that's it and uh, that's all for this building here let's go down again there's so much to see here I wish I could almost do it in several parts but we're gonna see how much I can do today I actually have to go in about an hour so we're gonna see how much I actually managed to get done today here we're gonna get into the next building which is uh, the bell tower of the building and also the cathedral which is over here Massive cathedral. I really like the color and the vibe it brings me and I'm gonna get, gonna get through here This is the back. This is where the priests and stuff would be preparing And uh, we have this small altar back here for private worshiping and stuff and a big stained window Which is kind of a defensive position. I know but uh, if we get on the outside I can show you that it's pretty high up on the side of the wall So it shouldn't really be that bad over here we can also get to another part of the defensive battlements you can fly out here and you can see that the window the same window is very far up so it wouldn't be a problem I think um, yeah you can get in here again and then we're gonna go up here and into kind of the workspace for the priest just some offices kind of uh, this is where if you want to have a private conversation 
with some of the priests, you would go here and not you there, thank you. And also, yeah, it leads up to the battlement, a big, big battlement uh, part of the matriculation here, which is very cool. If you go f uh, further up here, we have actually one of my favorite rooms of this castle, I think, because of the, the complexity of this. But this is where the servants of the cathedral would, would live. So it's many people crammed up here. We have a small curtain kind of covering up a pot here. Small kitchen area, a lot of storage. Uh, and up here we have like this almost like a balcony kind of thing going around where people will be sleeping. And I think this room is pretty cool and the standards aren't really that high. Uh, but yeah, we don't have too much time. Let's run further down here and take a look at um, the tower, the bell tower itself. Which is also pretty cool. That's where the high priest lives. So we're gonna take a look on that. Which is just over here through the, um, the cathedral here and then there's a door with a staircase behind it right here we can go up here and this is where the high priest would be living uh, we're having everything you need storage uh, seating areas and yeah everything you need and arrow slits of course for defending this from here we can actually defend the gate kind of there's a tree now in the way but you would cut that down in case of an attack we can go up the staircase and getting up to the residential areas where we have some bunk beds for sleeping a lot of bunk beds actually and another one right here like that so there's a lot of people working in this church here you can see them playing some chess as well let's go further up shall we uh, to this area uh, which leads up to the battlement here where we have these arrow slits in the ground to defend it uh, and it's a nice defensive position towards the gatehouse itself here so uh, yeah very nice defensive position and then yeah there's just more living quarters sleeping areas and then I shifted over the staircase a little bit and I think that is making a lot of difference here so now we go up here and then we're into the head priest the overmaster of um, this uh, this castle here and this is his room it's bigger it's more more royal has a greater feel to it and much cozier, much grander than the rest of the buildings here. And then we can go all the way up and get to the bell tower where we have this rope so you can pull and the bells are all the way up here. Four different bells and you would hear it all the way around the castle. There's actually some owls and stuff uh, living here despite all the noise which it makes. Alright, uh, let's get to the next building which uh, let's go on this side of the gatehouse this is the barracks this is where all the guards and soldiers would be living so uh, it's a very simple building but it gets the job done uh, very small actually in here but uh, we defend the wall we have some arrow slits those up here and this is where the guards would be sleeping most of them and uh, just a very simple area and they kind of hang out here relax when they're not on duty and then we have a nice uh, balcony overlooking the area here which is pretty cool also there's a basement to this which uh, is used for both a dungeon and also for living quarters when they're not in war more sleeping here these beds are for the guys being on watch duty which are kind of uh, on shifts taking a walk around the battlements making sure everything's okay down here uh, which is now used for living for the soldiers but you can also close this source off and use it as uh, dungeons for uh, enemies and stuff which is pretty cool come on let me get out of here and uh, yeah just small simple area to live in this is not where you would prefer to live uh, but if you're a lower class soldier this is kind of where you would live and uh, when it was peacetime uh, the next building would be right in here I can't remember what's in here all right yeah it's this part here we used 60 hours on building this castle so I forgot a lot of things in here uh, this is just a part of the tower uh, defensive battlement tower which is pretty cool it leads up to here we're gonna take a look on that very very soon guys uh, nice area over here a lot of storage for defensive things like arrows spears rocks everything you need uh, and more stuff around here for defending and then we get all the way on to the top of the battlement which has these cool arrow slits in the ground which makes it super efficient to defend close the wall here 
and also a nice granulation on top looks super cool I like it okay let's go down again this will be a super long episode I just realized wow all right uh, this is kind of a way to get to this part here but you can also get through here from uh, this building over here so this type of battlement here is kind of connected with several buildings but in here we have the tea room and this fireplace here is something I'm really proud of I think it looks super cool very grand it has a great feeling to it and this is where uh, if you have some visitors over and just want to take a cup of tea uh, chat have some cakes and stuff not a grand dinner you would sit here relaxing you have a nice view over the courtyard here and the yeah, overall just a nice building I think cool atmosphere I like that uh, and then yeah as I said we can walk over here and we can get into the ballroom I'm just gonna tease you here but we're gonna not check that out right now very cool building but let's go down here again so this is where we enter to get to the tower and to the top here uh, on the left of here we have the stables where there's some horses and also there's a small loft here where we store some hay and stuff and also arrows list you know to defend all of this this is actually a very cool stable I think I like the arched window here to uh, for uh, refreshing for air conditioning kind of to, to make the air better in here for the animals and also there will be a lot of stank in here from those those animals right here all right uh, just some small decorations around here very very cool I think over here we have some dogs some cages for dogs um, which we'll be using for hunting and also tracking down enemies which is pretty cool and have some food for them here and a nice covering roof uh, over that uh, I think the next thing I want to show you guys is the kitchen which is in this building here and there's a lot of else things inside of this building right here but uh, we can go in here and then we're getting into the kitchen this is the main kitchen of the castle this is where all the grand diners and dinners and and uh, foods will be prepared and stuff but uh, yeah it's a very cool um, kitchen design I think where we have a lot of these areas to work with we have two big baker ovens and we have this what is that called I don't know bellows to uh, to make the whole um, fireplace even hotter and you can bake some breads and stuff in here and overall a cool design I think back here for the dishes very cool it also has an exit right here which leads out back to this area which we just were uh, which leads out to the feast hall which is over here let me actually just show that right now while we're at it uh, this is where the, the most important dinners and stuff would be eaten and great occasions will be celebrated right here and it also leads to the ballroom which is up the staircase right here now we have floating bellow not anymore uh, which is up there so it's very nice to, to actually get the food delivered as well but uh, we can also go up here or down actually let's go down first down here we have some storage for food this is underground it's cold it's nice and it's a perfect spot to store food so you can see we have a lot of food stored in here and yeah it's very cramped but it gets the job done and that's what's important in here it's very cool above the kitchen we have a secondary dining area for uh, like breakfast and stuff for the royal family which is over here so super cool very cozy and it's not for many people it's only for the main core lord family of this castle here they will be eating their breakfast here and smaller dinners and stuff very cool we have some chairs for the servants serving them and yeah very cozy room I really like this this also leads out to this area where is a small sitting area on top of a secondary gate can I get out here thank you a secondary gate for more defensive positions here uh, which is very very cool I think the way that it all uh, kind of hangs together here but from here uh, we can go even further up and there should be some more residential areas uh, sleeping quarters and stuff go up here uh, we have yeah just some sleeping area bunker beds and stuff and I guess yeah all these rooms are also that yes so just small sleeping rooms and bedrooms and stuff for the people living here uh, with some nice views I guess I think this this here have a perfect view oh wow very very good this one ah not so good but still I wouldn't complain living in here 
this is probably one of the better places to live. Uh, up here is kind of the area where the people staying here would be spending some time when they're not working. Um, just like playing some games, relaxing, chatting. We also have a small balcony here, which is looking over and also defensive position. You can defend this part of the battlement from up here. In case enemies get over here, we can actually defend it from up here, which is pretty cool. And then, in the back here, we have even more, which is just the top of the turret, the stair turret here. And it's just a small relaxing area uh, for reading and stuff. Very, very cool. Um, we're getting to closer to, uh, to the halfway of this castle, I guess. Can we go even further up here? No, okay. Oh, wow. It's not completely finished, I just realized. Um, okay, uh, let's go down here again, all, all the way down to here, yes. And then I'll here. And I think, guys, that is all I can do today. Uh, I need to go very soon now, so I won't really be spending too much time on that. But uh, we covered pretty much like half of the castle. Uh, so we're gonna take the rest in another episode. And if you didn't guys, oh, I can't even speak. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed uh, this building here, if you found it inspiring, and if, if you you just really like what I've done here together with you guys, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't. It means the world to me. And yeah, uh, come with nice comments, suggestions for things I could improve in future buildings. And just feel free to tell me whatever you think of this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.